Hi everybody, thanks for joining us today for another Life Lifter. This week we have been talking about faith as our theme. And each week we do these Life Lifters, we're trying to lift your life up with the theme and we've talked about different aspects of faith. And because I wanna make sure that you don't think faith is just some nebulous intellectual concept, today for our last day of this week of Life Lifters focus on faith, I wanna to talk to you about working out your faith. Faith is not just something you believe. Faith is something you do. And we learn this from Jesus' half-brother, James, in his letter, the epistle named after him, James, in chapter 2, verse 14 and verse 17. Let's read it together. Look at what it says in James 2, 14. It says this, What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? That's a question. In English, you may say, well, I don't know what the answer is. In Greek, it has an implied answer, and you could probably discern what the implied answer is. It's not an implied answer, it's a demanded answer, I should say, and that's this. Can such faith save him? No. In other words, if you say you have faith, but you don't do anything with your faith, if you don't work out your faith, you really don't have faith. Look at verse 17. It says, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Faith without works is dead. That's why Jesus said, um, not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom, but what? He who does the will of my Father. Is Jesus teaching that you go to heaven by good works? No, he's not. He's teaching it's by faith, but what he's saying is, true faith always produces works. Faith always works. You cannot have faith and say, oh, I believe God, but never do anything with it. Faith always always works. Don't say, I trust God, and then somebody comes to you with a financial need, and you go, oh, don't worry about it. Be warmed and be filled. That's one of the examples in Scripture. And God says, that's not faith. That's selfishness. Your faith must work. When you have faith in God, you show love for other people. How are you showing love for other people? Whenever you show love for other people, you're showing your faith in God. It's impossible to have faith and not have good works. Now, good works contribute nothing to going to heaven. Good works simply prove that you have a legitimate faith, and faith is what determines whether you go to heaven. So I wanna ask you this, is your faith working these days? What is your faith working on? How are you helping somebody else? How are you demonstrating your faith in Christ to other people in practical ways. Instead of just saying, I'm a Christian, you should be too. That's important. But how about saying, I'm a Christian, I'm gonna show you I'm a Christian by showing you love, by helping you in some kind of way. Boy, when you do that, then people wanna to listen to us. People don't care how much we know until they know how much we care, and that's called good works. Faith without works is dead. If a person says he has faith and doesn't have works, can that faith really be a true faith? No, it can't. So I wanna ask you this. This weekend, today, and the rest of the weekend, will you do something for somebody else that shows your faith through deeds? We can be a witness to people if we'll just love them. Let's pray. Father, this week as we have looked at faith, I pray that every aspect of our faith would grow. And I pray that it grow in such a way that our deeds, our good works for other people would show. I think of Jesus' words where he says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds, good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. You expect our faith to produce works. Just like a tree that's an orange tree that never produces oranges can rightly be considered a dead tree. Father, help us to be alive in you. Help us to have faith in you and to exhibit that faith in the way we live toward other people so they might believe in you. And I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. I hope this series of messages on faith has helped and I hope you'll enjoy them and show good deeds to somebody today and this weekend. Have a great day.